So we <coughs> we get we get lamenesses in, in chickens very commonly. This little girl's lucky because an owner's brought her to the vet, but she got her leg caught in a stair. So obviously the thing to know is is there a fracture, is there a break? And if you actually watch her walking, you'll see that the the um the left leg she's hardly put down. So we've taken an x-ray and what I'd like you to note on the x-ray, which is pretty awesome, is, is obviously I'm glad there's no fracture. We've examined every joint in each part of the leg and there's no fracture. But what you can see on the x-ray is abnormal calcification of the bone. In a chicken it can be normal because they've got to produce so much calcium to lay an egg that you get something called hyperosteotic osteostosis, which is You've got this puckering, it almost looks like a tumor on the bone, but it's actually just calcium's laid down and taken, laid down and take, taken, so the egg can be calcified like it should be. And uh, so this little girl's gonna go on some anti-inflammatories, we're given a calcium injection. And what I suggested to the owner, if the lameness continues, we'll give a hormone implant or a contraceptive type implant to stop laying and let the bones just regenerate. But um, these x-rays are really interesting to look at. We didn't expect, but uh, the owner said maybe Michael wasn't laying, but you can see the egg's beautiful. It's a well-formed egg. So the chicken's quite healthy with the lameness and I hope it's gonna get better by itself because there's no fracture or joint problem that we've been able to pick up clinically. Can you say goodbye to the camera? But the x-rays are very cool. So when you're looking at the x-ray, it's really cool and I'll give you a really little anatomy lesson of the leg. So this is the hip. The mouse is going around the, the hip, sorry, the. The computer mouse is going around the hip of a chicken. So this is the left hip. And you can see this is the, um, the femur, which is one of the biggest, strongest bones in the body. And that's the, the hip joint. You can also see we're going down. If any of you know human anatomy, this is the tibia. It's a very big bone, it's quite a strong one. And that is the, well, the equivalent of the fibula. It's a tiny bone here. In chickens, it's actually um, the, the ankle and the tibia is fused. So this is called a tibiotarsis, not a tibia. But I'd like you to look at where the arrows are pointing. And you can see this puckered shape in the bone. Um, the scalloping in the bone. And this happens because they've got to mobilize so much calcium. So calcium gets deposited when they eat their food and gets taken out when they lay eggs. And uh, does it predispose the bones to be, you know, to be more friable? I'm not sure. But then the, the elephant in the room for anybody watching is this big white thing here. So the owner had no idea that there was an egg. In fact, we were told this, that maybe Michael wasn't laying. That's a really good name. You know, it's unisex today, Michael. But this is the egg and it's beautiful. It's beautifully formed. It's, I'd like you to appreciate the size of this egg. It is absolutely massive. It's filling up the entire salami cavity. And a chicken lays one of these every single day. I mean, it's just amazing. I'll show you one more, um, potentially one, another view. Just to get an idea of the size of this egg, um, we can make it a bit bigger so you can see. It. it really fills up the whole abdomen and you can get a better appreciation of the um, calcium mobilization, which is, which is intense. You know, one of the miracles in life is that you feed a few seeds to a bird and you're going to get this beautiful egg, which is full of calcium and protein. Um, and one of the best sources of protein in the world. And the last view is not going to give us too much more. Um, and the, really here we've just got superimposition of the... If you're, not, if you're not careful how you interpret things, I mean, you can see the border of the egg. But there's superimposition of the stomach over the bones. Thank you. So it looks like, it looks like, in fact, it looks like tumor of this bone, but I know that it's superimposition of the stomach rather than a major problem.